Alright, so picture this. The Super Bowl 56 halftime show in 2022. We had an epic lineup with Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, Mary J. Blige, and of course, the surprise appearance from 50 Cent. But what if I told you, 50 was almost cut from that show? Yep, y'all heard it right. Let's get into the details. In a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, 50 Cent dropped a bombshell. He claimed that Rock Nation, which was handling the lineup, didn't want him there. Can y'all believe that? 50 Cent said, and I quote, Rock Nation wanted to leave me out of it. They didn't want me there. But wait, it gets even better. Apparently, Eminem was the one who insisted that 50 Cent be part of the performance. M told them, no 50, no me. That's how our boy 50 ended up on that stage, despite Rock Nation's attempts to exclude him. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen some tension between 50 Cent and Jay-Z. These two have had a rocky relationship for years. Just earlier this year, 50 dragged Jay into his trolling campaign against Diddy and missed Diddy's multiple assault allegations. 50 posted on Instagram mocking Jay's silence over Diddy's legal troubles. He said, Jay in hibernation. He ain't coming outside to this F with Puff blow over. No brunch, no lunch, no dinner. LOL, I'm all you got, I'm outside. Now that was in reference to Jay-Z canceling this year's Rock Nation brunch. Now that was a big deal because it's usually held before the Grammy Awards and it's usually attended by Diddy among other A-list celebrities. And let's not forget how 50 shared a meme with Jay's face on a milk carton for missing children and it said, Anybody seen Jay? LOL. Puff said the N-word ain't answering the phone. LOL. This kind of trolling isn't new for 50. He's always been known for his savage social media posts and his ongoing feud with Jay-Z. This just adds more fuel to the fire. But back to the Super Bowl situation. 50 Cent wasn't even announced as part of the lineup. So when he popped up, it was a total surprise. That was all thanks to Eminem standing his ground. 50 said, but Eminem wouldn't do it without me. That's how I ended up on the show because he was not coming if I didn't do it. That's some serious loyalty right there. It's crazy to think how different that performance could have been if M hadn't backed up 50. And it's not just about the Super Bowl. 50's been throwing shade at Jay-Z over Diddy's assault allegations too. He posted a deep fake video from the film New Jack City with faces altered to represent Puffy and Jay-Z implying that Jay had some knowledge of Diddy's alleged crimes. The caption said, This thing is bigger than Nino Brown. LOL, New Jack Diddy. You gotta love 50's sense of humor. But he's not playing around when it comes to calling people out. And Jay-Z, he's been silent through all this. No comments on the allegations made against Diddy by various parties, including his ex-girlfriend Cassie and the Love album producer Lil Rod. So what's up with that? Now I want to hear from y'all. What do you think about 50 Cent's revelations? Do you think Rock Nation really tried to cut him from the Super Bowl halftime show? And what about his ongoing feud with Jay-Z? Leave your comments down below. Let's get this conversation popping. So to sum it all up, 50 Cent almost didn't make that legendary Super Bowl stage because Rock Nation didn't want him there. But thanks to Eminem's loyalty, 50 was able to surprise us all with his epic performance. And as far as the beef with Jay-Z, it's still as spicy as ever. 50 Cent even believes Jay-Z sold his whole career to somebody. Click the video on the screen to find out who that is. And make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified every time I post. Peace.